Now, people both in and out of politics have been quick to react to Pelosi's announcement. And WJZ is live. Avajoy Burnett with what state lawmakers on both sides of the aisle are saying tonight. Avajoy. Well, Rick, there are eight people who represent Maryland and the House of Representatives. We went down the list and every single person supported an inquiry, an impeachment inquiry, except for the sole Republican. Once the Speaker of the House announced a formal impeachment inquiry against President Trump, members of the Maryland congressional delegation followed her lead. My reaction uh, is the fact that Trump, in my opinion, broke the law. Congressman Dutch Ruppersberger represents portions of Baltimore County. He'd been hesitant to call for impeachment hearings until now. He, as president, is sworn to protect our country. And you don't call a foreign country and ask them to investigate your possible opponent. Congressman Elijah Cummings, chair of the House Oversight Committee, tweeted, When the history books are written about this tumultuous era, I want them to show that I was among those in the House of Representatives who stood up to lawlessness and tyranny. Maryland Congressman and House Majority Leader Steny Hoyer said he fully supports Congress moving forward with an official impeachment inquiry. The American people don't expect Congress to be to be doing this. Congressman Andy Harris, the state's only Republican representative in Congress, does not support Speaker Pelosi's decision to move forward with an impeachment inquiry. This is nothing new. The bottom line is the Mueller report didn't quite turn out the way they wanted. Uh, there have been uh, dozens of Democrats calling for the president's impeachment literally from the day he took office. So this is nothing new. Now, this sort of proceeding usually starts in the House of Representatives, and as it advances, it moves over to the Senate. Live tonight, Avajoy Burnett for WJZ.